There seems like there's still work to do here on Port Merrick. I mean, look at this. They haven't even finished applying the plaster. And there's a lot of tools and ropes lying about. But this is a good thing because this means that Rare is still not finished with this place. Let me do you a favor, Rare. I will nitpick Port Merrick so that you'd know what to fix for the next iteration of this place. It is the Port Merrick nitpicking special. Port Merrick is new, it's fresh, it's very recently built, and it already has cobwebs. Not tiny ones either, big ones, seemingly everywhere. Already? Nitpick. We finally can walk upstairs in the tavern, and even walk more upstairs to access the roof. But then we meet our old friend, the broken stairs. I am convinced that this acid must be on the checklist for what an outpost must contain. The problem here is that someone lives up here. Look. The lights are on. It's not a big deal. It's a nitpick. You can fish in the dry dock, which I think is pretty cool. But oh, see, look at that. Definitely a nitpick. This gold hoarder is a bit of a doofus. You see, he has a vault and all that. But come with me. Right this way. There we go. He left a bag of gold on his roof that we cannot pick up nitpick. I hope they're gonna finish the roof of this poor merchant. But the nitpick comes where she chooses to stand right underneath one of the gaps in the little of a shelter she got. Which does her no favors if a storm comes by. At least the shipwright has finished one of the barrel lids. Only took five years nitpick. These are nice roof shingles. Quality roof shingles. Would be a shame if they clipped through the environment though nitpick. Nah, this bothers me. Who lives up? Up here. Whoever it is, they're loaded with a pair of cannons. Right next to the guard tower on this bridge, there is a hole in the geometry. Now, I ain't calling out sloppy work on rare scent, but I am. Look at that. We finally got smoke coming out of the chimneys. Not the tavern, though. Uh, couldn't give the ta tavern some smoke, love, could we? There's still time, though. Still time. Question is, who lives here? <laughs> Remember when I didn't call out rare sloppy work for leaving a hole in the geometry? Well, there's also a non-sloppy work on the aforementioned clipping roof shingles. Right here. It's a nitpick though. There we go again. A timer with no stove, but lots of pots and pans. Even in a cobweb filled basement, there's pots and pans. On what surface are you planning on using them, nitpick? On the Pirate Emporium store at night, there's this window which is very brightly lit, indicating that the lights are on inside. But if we walk inside, they're not on at all. It's dark in there. This drain pipe comes down from the guard tower, but if we go up here, the entrance to the drain pipe is nowhere to be seen. I was kind of hoping we would find a urinal up here. Um. All right. Alright, I, I guess the tavern lady can cook up here, but if I were to nitpick, there's plenty of space behind the counter for a stove if you just remove all this junk. I'm just saying. It's more strategically responsible. There's another drain pipe that can't actually drain. <laughs> we gamers can excuse plants clipping through stuff. It's been there since the birth of polygons. Rare has done such a great job with Port Merrick placing plants so close to geometry but not actually clipping. At this one right here, aggressively clipping through the geometry is borderline making this game unplayable. No, it doesn't. It's a nitpick. Oh, okay, all right, maybe maybe this drain pipe will make sense. Oh, there are second story windows in order of soul spilling, but look all you want. There, there is no entrance leading up there. Not even back here where it would make sense to have one. It pick. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it nitpick even with smoke coming out of the chimneys we can still look down them and see that they don't lead anywhere other than to the roof this is a quality nitpick because it's an easy fix just add a small disc make it black and don't allow it to absorb light and pop it inside the pipe boom illusion back in full swing the lighthouse on port america is kind of weak from a distance you'll notice that the town lights are more eye-catching than this wrinkly dink of a light source in reality the lighthouse light should be like this or maybe not 
On a bigger scale, where did it get all the rocks to build this place? This is a rare, grand nitpick. Because I believe it's a missed opportunity for world building. Check this out. In the Fellowship of the Ring, there are these giant statues desperately waiting for your high five. Viewers of the Fellowship of the Ring ask him themselves, how did it get all the materials for this? Only has to gander into the background to see where they got it from. A little rock quarry. And that got me thinking. We have all these giant rock formations scattered around the world. And even one quite close to Port Merrick. It would be such a cool detail to see this rock getting dug out more and more each time Port Merrick got added upon. It's too late for that now though. Sad nitpick. Oh man, are we ending this video on a sad nitpick? Well, I wrote down a nitpick about how they could have gotten a water pump for this fountain during piratey times. I couldn't find any information on fountain technology in the pirate days other than the fountain of youth. Which brings me to a whole other theory that I have about this game. If you think about it, you, the player, are dropped into this place and immediately got shown the ropes by the pirate legend himself. There are no toilet and had quite an immortal to a poly. I live here now.